can fly, travel at the speed of light, and command the currents. They don't need another way to get around. Or do they? This world. We don't have to recognize it. We just have to save it. Shall we? Today we've got something very exciting, extremely exclusive. It's been built especially for this show. The brand new E-Class convertible from Mercedes-Benz. This car is a prototype and we have it here exclusively for Wonder Woman. In order for us to be able to relate to this movie, we need to have things that we're all familiar with and who's not familiar with Mercedes, right? So I think it was a good choice. I was very impressed. It's the only one, it's so y'all so be fun. careful. So no, I just drive. The car Diana drives is very elegant and not too flashy, very chic and practical. We get to keep the car once we're done with it. It's fun. I love driving. Yay! It feels good. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Bruce Wayne has no shortage of ways to get around. He's got this pretty cool civilian Mercedes car that we're showing in the movie, which is pretty awesome. Zack Snyder, the director of the film, saw the Vision GT, which was an electronic remote-controlled concept car that was designed by Mercedes for the video game Gran Turismo. And because it was just designed for the game, it was never a real functioning vehicle. And because Ben Affleck, who plays Bruce Wayne and Batman, is 6'4", in order to make it work for our needs, they expanded the car about 10% when they built it out. This is really a dream project for any designer to be able to do something like this because we were responsible for the original concept that has now been translated into this movie car. So the original show car didn't have an interior in it. So we had to basically create the actual physical interior. This has got to be one of, if not the coolest, Bruce Wayne related vehicles in the history of man. It's not even a wheel. You can't even call it. They're reinventing the wheel. All right, I like it. Let's film it. Then we shoot rockets, right? Like after we have this conversation. <laughs> to put Bruce Wayne behind the wheel of an experimental prototype vehicle like the VGT, it's a great fit. I think they made it also just to especially to look awesome. A lot of people want to take pictures with the car. Enormous support from Mercedes, huge support from Mercedes, both with sort of background cars and this project on the whole, and having Bruce Wayne's car. I've never seen a car like this associated with any character in any movie. So this is really unique and super exciting. Yeah.